Hey, you guys, we are back to do another review of Love is Blind. So let's go ahead and get into it, although we're not surprised. We keep it real. What's going on, Koya Camp folks? How y'all doing tonight? Welcome back to another video, Courtney. Yeah, I'm Eddie, aka E Dub. This is my lovely wife right here. Courtney, also known as Coco. This right here is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationship, it's all about reviews, it's all about entertainment, it's all about our famous rants. And tonight we bring you another video, the last episode of the last episode of Love is Blind. I guess the next episode is gonna be the reunion. It should be tomorrow. It's so tomorrow? Sunday. I told you that. So if you're brand new to this channel oh, and haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. So um uh, and make sure that you hit the like button, y'all. We we is trying to make it over there and cross over into the Love is Blind community. Um so what? community. The Love is Blind community. So we just trying to cross on over there. So the more you hit the like button or the down, it don't matter. Why y'all wanna let us in? <laughs> We knock on the door, y'all want to let us in. What's up with that, man? So we trying to ease on over there, um, yeah, man, and we, I know we we, we can new come to through it. the side door. Okay, we can come through the window. So yeah. you know, we trying chimney. to get on over there. <laughs> so the more you hit the like button, the more it pushes it up in the algorithm. So let's go ahead and get into it, you guys. Now, of course, you know we're down to two winners. Um, you got Stacy, you got Izzy, you got Milton, you got um, Lydia. Now, uh, we, I'm not surprised the Stacey situation because, first of all, you know, there have been spoilers on um, social media. But not just that. Um, she had so much reservation about marrying this man. And um, uh, uh, what? I don't see why, why she didn't tell this man before they walked down the aisle like well, that. Well, why would you tell the man when you can get your uh, wedding for free, hun, to see if this how it but, feels so, and so, your dress to and get all a, that stuff? To get a free wedding. Yeah. You, 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 you're you okay with embarrassing a man to get a free wedding. Yeah, yeah, Stacey don't care. That's that. cold-blooded, man. So, um, so, basically, they at the altar. So, you know, we skimmed through a lot of stuff. Some stuff was repetitive. You know, I did see that Stacey was talking to her mama and just seemed like she got reservations about everything. So, um, uh, um, as they were saying they vows, you know, is it crying? Like, he emotional. He's saying, I love you. All this stuff. You know, he said, yes, he cheesing and teeth yeah, white. All yeah. this stuff. He was pouring his heart out. And, you know, I'm saying, okay, okay. Mom was crying and, uh, you know, people in the audience crying because he basically said, I love you. The best oh, thing yeah. that ever happened to me. You made me a better man. You, know, you, made, you made me a better man. You know, I'm going to be with you the rest of my life. Yeah. And Stacey did what? No. <laughs> so Stacy basically, you know, said some sweet words and all that stuff. And then when it came to the okay, whether you say yes or no, it really too was this long pause, the audience, you know, all that stuff, whatever. She said that she need more time. That was basically her thing. She need more time. More and he time just like for what though? He just still stuck in his face and he kissed her like 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 she said yes and um she was like oh wait i think this is reversed like what's going on i think that what happened was when she said no and he said i, I understand i respect your you know your, your decision and he said we'll know we, we, we can do that and he, that's when you kissed her i think that was the kiss for the last time yeah i think that was the kiss of goodbye you know? yeah and um and so she said yeah she need more time and so he she walked she said someone walked off and he was just standing there like okay what i do now and he thanked everybody for coming and he left and he went straight to the cameras well i don't know if it was straight but the way they showed it um to cry to them his mom came to encourage him and just say some sweet things to him and you could tell he is truly a mama's boy um but she just said you know things may hurt right now but you pretty much you know move forward yeah, uh, that's this is this is why I have the problem with it. You know, you know, Stacey basically told the mom, "Yeah, I'm gonna be with him. I'm gonna marry him." And I think Izzy mom kind of like, cause she wasn't sure about Stacey. You know what I'm saying? Cause she said, "I need to ask you," cause you know, I know I need, I'm not sure about it. So when she, when Stacey kind of 
kind of ease her concerns or whatnot. The mom said, okay, but I still didn't think the mom was 100% on board with that. Right. Um, I think in Stacey here, Stacey said, we're going to date. We're going to continue to date because this is a rush process. So after it's over with, you know, we're going to no, get to know each other and no, all that stuff. No, 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 we're not going to do that. But Izzy said, not on my watch. No, we're not going to do that because you're going to tell me no on national television. You're going to tell me no in front of my mom, my family, my friends. You know, after I pour my heart out to you, you're going to tell me no. Now you want you want to date. No. We ain't going to date. You go ahead and date them uh, Rockefellers and Warren Buffets and people with seven figures. You know what I'm saying? You date them people, man. You know, you're not going to embarrass me and date so you can get a free wedding. Yeah, she did, honey. Ooh, this is nice. I think I'm going to, yo, I get married for but real. This, I think Stacy came in there. She knew she wasn't finna get married, honey. I think Stacy got money enough. They, her family got enough money to do what it's like. Oh, yeah, you but she's trying to see, okay, do I want it like this? Okay, next, I'm going to up the end. So, yeah, she had just got her a test with. So, um, Izzy was just saying. Oh, you trying to call Izzy a test dummy? I said she had a test Yeah, he, but he's part of the wedding. That's part of the test. Dang, so, uh, so, um, so is was just saying, you know, it hurts. You know, he said he wants to be loved like he loved others. And, uh, he said that he should have went with John. Now nah, he didn't say that, but his thoughts was like, he should have went with John because John would have said yes. And she still probably will say yes. Yeah, she will dump if, Chris. If, if, if Johnny can rebound with Chris, Izzy can go back and rebound with Johnny. Mm -hmm. And he can pull Johnny from Chris. Yep. Izzy and Stacey were talking. He was just saying, you know, when is going to be the right time? Because I feel like it ain't never going to be the right hey, time. Hey, man, you answer your own question. Is it's never going to be the right time because you're not in that tax bracket. Mm. You got to be in that tax bracket, man. When she found out you went bankrupt, when she found out that you know, oh, yeah. when she found out that you was uh, uh, you know, you, you had no credit cards and whatnot, and your credit score probably all jacked up. Yeah. You're not in the right test bracket, bro. You're going to have to, uh, you know, yeah, he's going to have to move on. Yeah, so it was a, uh, when they was up there talking and stuff, the Stacy. <laughs> Why y'all put that thing on the edge? It, it, it had said that, um, you know, he seems as though that, you know, he was like, yeah, I want, I wonder why she 33 years old ain't never been married because she out here chasing these men that, you know, in a certain, like you said, tax bracket, 40 plus years old and stuff like that. So Ooh, he was like, he, threw shade. He, he was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying, basically he was saying, I'm trying to love her. It, it ain't about money for me, but it's about money for her. Money does not pay the bills, is it? Money cannot pay your rent. Money over fine, over romance is a oh, nonsense. Oh, 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 you said money can't pay your rent? I meant. I, what I said, I meant Lil can't yeah. pay your rent. Oh, okay. well, ooh, I, I need to find another, another job. <laughs> Money can't pay your rent. <laughs> yeah, so love. So he's trying to do that 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 little boy, you know, to me, just a little boy fancy, what is fantasy world, where, you know, all you need is love. Love can't pay your rent, your mortgage, your car. You know they made a song like that, like that right? What? All you need is love, love. Yeah, and see, that's where he at. He in this... But no, uh, hey, Stacey over here be like, I, you know, I think Jenna will go down with that. I think she'd be down oh, yeah. with that. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, not Stacey That's might not be. Struggling. Yeah. But it's some women who still be down with that. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? They don't care. Yeah, they, they got the man right. and there's good sex and, you know, and they just sitting there eating Cheetos they and all got, that stuff. If you, so call, you, you say love can't buy you. Yeah, love can't buy you uh, a good woman. Because I've seen a lot of dudes on your work that got a good woman. The woman out there working, oh, they yeah. stay at home playing. PlayStation I said, Five. I said, love can't pay your rent though. Yeah, they can. How? Yeah, you can spread your love out there. You can, pay your no, rent. no, you can go out there and you can go to um, the power company and say, "All I got is love." Yeah. Okay, which one yeah. now? You know, especially as a woman behind the counter. Yeah, I'll show you some love. You gonna pay my bills for it? But that's the way he is. And but you know, Stacey's father said, "Listen, love can't fly first class. You know, it need money. Need money, 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 money." So is it like I can just pretty much love her down, you know, with my Dollar Tree gifts and all that stuff or whatever, and she'll be satisfied I, with that. I think, but it's about finances. I think Lisa kind of caught the hint when he kept saying, whatever I do, it's not going to be good enough for you. Oh, yeah. He, he caught the hint. Yeah. He caught it, you know, and he's right. Whatever he does, you know, especially in the, 
in the tax bracket he's in, it's not gonna be good enough for. Him. Yeah, and he said at the end, you know, he was like, you know, I can, I can do better than any money. I can, you know, basically he was saying, if it's money, I can work hard. I can get you this. I can supply all your needs. Da 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 da. But dude, you just came like you working in the insurance company to me that you said that you just started working. So can you really truly do all those things, or do you have a lot of talk? Well, to answer your question, Netflix. You, you know, the question was, love is blind? No, love is not blind. A love needs a credit score. Okay? So that's why. That's what happened. Is In love is blind? Yeah. Is love is blind? No, love ain't blind. Love, you got to have a credit score. You got to have finances. You got to look right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, no, love ain't blind. And so, um, so yeah, Stacy then trolled through the uh, pre-wedding, uh, honey. And so, she said, oh, this is nice. So, yeah, and she trolled up in the car. So now let's move on to um, Izzy and Milton. Ooh, what kind of relationship that is? <laughs> what kind of relationship that is? Lydia and Milton. Is it? Dang, is it? Yeah. Stacy kitchen to the curb. You ran yeah, to Milton. Milton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Milton and Lydia. My bad. I'm sorry. Um, so Milton's dad was giving some good advice. Now, in my opinion, I think Milton really and truly is doing stuff out of a little, Spike. a little defiance yeah, and stuff because he feels so as though people don't treat him like, like he's a full adult. Right, or he's like too a kid. young. This is this is his way to show them that he's a grown man, basically. Yep. You know, because I can see how his sister talked to Milton. You know, how, you know, like you know, she knows everything. Milton don't know anything about life. Yeah, his mom the same way. The dad, I don't think he's the same way. I think he just give him giving him nuggets to use in life. Mm -hmm. And to me, I hate to say it. No, I don't hate to say it. The dad to me seemed like he's more level headed yeah. in the family. You know, he's something like Milton. Yeah. The mom on the other hand, She's she can be she can be like Carter Russell mom, you know what I'm saying? Oh, please don't bring that up in this video. Ugh. I barf. Continue. What's wrong with Well, this ain't that video, baby. I know, Let's bro. go. Nah, man, you can see. But yeah, so yeah, Milton, you know, like you said, I think he's trying to be defined to show them that he can be a grown man. Yep. And if that's the reason you get married, it ain't gonna work. It ain't, it ain't gonna work. Um, Milton feels that though, is everybody else is more nervous than he is, uh, and they should. I mean, you should be nervous, but yeah, everybody, people don't feel like that you're ready, not to be ready in a relationship per se, but ready but to married, be married. Yeah. And if it's true, don't know if it's true that you really truly broke up with your girlfriend to get on this show so you can be an influencer, blah blah blah, oh, alleged. Yeah. Hey. You know, people in the comments chat. Then really truly ain't gonna last. Oh yeah, uh, we, so, yes, we don't know if that's true or not though. Then you just hear me say if it's true. I'm I just said, saying. I'm you make you, sure. I know they. I just want to make sure. They make sure. So Lydia comes down the <laughs> aisle, and Milton was looking so straight faced. Like when you see a most men, uh, you know, what I'm saying they see a beautiful bride coming down. They bride. Then See, they just like you know you, welling up, smiling. You read, you read more into that than you should have. Milton brain acts differently. You know what I'm saying? He's too male. You know he don't show those emotions. You know, for for, for a prime example, a prime example, when they were sitting there eating at the museum, and she was going off, and Milton just kept eating and stuff. He don't show emotions like that. So he's not gonna show anger. He's not gonna show excitement. He's just a mellow type of dude you know yeah, what i'm yeah. saying he's even killed um so you know he got up there of course both of them said yes and they both kissed now in this process looking at them i think somebody gonna have go to the cat practice a lot they're probably uh, leah, <laughs> leah. And him, leah he gotta bend down like that and well, she I, gotta, I, I think what she needs to do is to bring a step stool everywhere Every time. she goes yeah so, um, did y'all notice how Milton and Izzy was sweating? I was sweating bullets. I know we noticed Milton, yeah. but Izzy was too. He was sweating like, ooh, them yeah, some I, hot lights. You know, but Milton closer to the lights. Yeah, man. I think the reason why Izzy was sweating because the stress. You know, it's got, even when he was sitting there talking, when he was standing there talking to uh, uh, Stacy after the wedding, he was still sweating. Yeah, and so yeah, it was just his nerves and, and stress. So, you know, they both said yes, you know, the family party, they kiss and all that stuff. Whatever. I think they're a cute couple, but will they last? It's not necessary for me to say so, but just how the process went, I don't think that 
they will last because I still think that they got some issues, and I really don't I can, think the. Go ahead. I don't think that neither one of them got re- married for love. I don't think they got married for the right reasons. Uh, and I can tell it's not gonna last. I can see that's in those short clips how Lydia talks to Mildred. Like, you don't cut the cake up here. You cut it down here. No, like, she's real bossy. How long Milton is gonna stand for that? Until he start feeling like you, my mama. Cause exactly. Because right, right. she's older and he's right. Younger. That's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. You know the way she talks to him. Sometimes she bosses him around like a mother, like you said. That's a good point. Because yeah. I'm bossy too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It irritates the crap out of me sometimes. <laughs> but but the fact too is that there's an age gap. You know, and in his mind, he may not just be looking at her as just you know a person mm. that's bossy or the wife. But he could be looking at her, oh, you trying to tell me what to do like my mother. I mean, that's the reason and, why I try to get married to get from under that. Now right. you trying to do the same thing. Yeah. And then remember when she was like, why you have your clothes up? Wear this. He said, no, I'm not going to wear it. He doing it to just defy right, her. Right. So, yeah, that was a good point. Yeah. Um. So at the end, they showed the clips of the other two that did not get married, which was um JP and Taylor. Um, she... And, and just clips of that child, but thank God they didn't get married. And also Uche, as well as Lid- Lydia, excuse me, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. And they show clips of that. Now, of course, we know that they show Uche- clips of uh, Johnny and Chris too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you write that down. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, um, and uh, and and of course, we know that Uche and Aaliyah got their own stuff going on outside of this um show on social media. And what I know else happened? Something else happened recently what? with Uche and Aaliyah. 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 I, if I keep saying Lydia, I'm sorry. Uh, I know that um Aaliyah went and did an interview with the Hamptons, which that's was the first couple that um, made it. And I I watched it's that first together, season. Right? Yeah, okay. first season of Love Is Blind, interracial couple. And I watched that, and it was an amazing season. Um, but yeah, he did interview her and I didn't watch the whole interview. I just seen the clips on social media and stuff like that, where she, um, Aaliyah says she doesn't feel like that Uche in the end was attracted to her. Now they did try to kind of connect and date outside the show, you know, now, but. what did I see where uh, Aaliyah said Uche told her that she's not his type? Yeah, right there. In that, in that, video, in that yeah, interview? Yeah, okay. you've probably seen clips yeah. of it. Um, she said she don't feel like that, you know. Um, I think he said that, you know, he she is not like his normal type or nothing like that. What is his normal parents? Somebody like Lydia, and man. that's why I seen somewhere with somebody say, Well, could it be the color of her skin? You know man, what I'm saying? Maybe I think he likes light, I think he likes lighter skin, and so um, but yeah, and it just and didn't it, work. And I hate to say it, it wasn't surprised, yeah, he did, yeah. So, um, but anyway, on that note, you guys, that's it. The reunion will be tomorrow. Maybe I'll go and watch the clip um, with the Hamptons. So maybe I have a better understanding of what happened with Aaliyah. But Aaliyah, uh, according to her Instagram, she she engaged. And they are so freaking cute together. So, you know, good for her. You know, it didn't work out. You know, hey, if a man ain't attracted to you, child, you let that go, honey. You let it go. The winner of all of this. Now, for this season of going through all of this mess here is Lydia. Yeah. Because she got dumped by Izzy. She got dumped by Uche. And she was dodging bullets like that. She went through the man, the landmines and found to her boo. She, the last person you thought was going to make it to the end, made it to the end. Yep. And whether she was Uche stalk or not, honey, or what she yeah, came on she got show for the wrong boo. reasons. Hey, she got her man. I don't know if She's it's She's married work. now. I ain't married, y'all. So on that note, you guys, we have a funeral to go to. So, you know, um, my husband's cousin passed away. And so we have a funeral to go to. So uh, we're trying to go ahead and get these videos out before we make it there. So we will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to go God and let God go with you. Always put God first. Hey.